So I can buy a replacement, one of these from Amazon, generic, uh, name non-name brand, for 35 bucks. If you go to the Dyson website, it costs 95 bucks, but they don't have them in stock right now. Um, so I've bought the generic replacement, but I'm going to open this thing up just to see if you can open it up and replace just the cells. There's a kind of a security, kind of a star screw here I'm going to take out first. So you will need a security star bit. You don't need the one with a hole in it. There's not an actual peg in the middle of this thing. Um, so any security bit would work. The, any star bit would work here. But you do need a uh, security bit for that particular screw. Alright, so after you take out the security screw here, I was able to put a small screwdriver in there and pry this open a bit. There's some tabs. You can see that hole there and there's one on the other side as well. Um, you know, so this has tabs holding these things in place. And I'm hoping that by walking around the entire thing and prying things out, you know, walking my screwdrivers around, I'll be able to pop these things open all the way around. I'm hoping it's just tabs holding it in all the way around. The hard bit's probably going to be getting around that corner. And obviously you can hear snapping and popping. And Of course there's batteries in there that have some charge. They're too low to run the thing, but it has some charge. So you can see here this bit is popping out. And we're definitely going to be making a mess of the case doing this. And there might be some special tools that would let you do this without marring the case. But I tried my plastic spongers and they started snapping. So we're going to the metal screwdrivers at this point. Oh, I think I got the last of those out. All right, there we are. Oh, another security screw. So there's a security screw right there. Take that guy out, and I suspect this thing's going to slide out. I'm not sure if it's... It looks like a light guide. It goes from the LED out to these two things on the side here. Yeah, as you can see the LED, the light guide. That light guide appears to be stuck in here, so it looks like I have to push these guys in to make that light guide pop out. There, I got one of them, I think. So in addition to be the indicator LEDs, there are also little catches, or indicator lights. They're also acting as a catch. Okay, I was able to completely remove that sucker. So you can see they have a moderately complicated BMS system here. And it has one, two, three, four, five, six, looks like 18650 cells, and some pretty heavy duty plastic protection here. Um, so you're going to need six 18650 cells to replace this. And I'm not entirely convinced that this guy won't shut the whole thing down when I disconnect the cells. It's certainly possible that when I disconnect these cells, the BMS detects that and says, hey, I'm not going to let you put in fake cells um, and just shut it down. But I do have physical access, so it looks like, you know, the, the case, I could snap it back together. It wouldn't be pretty. Probably have to use some <laughs> glue to get it to stay back together because I broke off all kinds of tabs. If you want to look here, you can see there's tabs to here two on either side, and then two on the top. And so if you were trying to get this out easier, that's where you'd want to get something in and kind of get the tabs out of those little pockets there. Um, however, I suspect at the factory, you know, they're never planning on replacing this unit, I think. I think they're just going to sell you a whole brand new one. Um, so I don't think these are designed to take apart. Um, so the real question is, if I were to take out all these cells and solder this BMS onto a new pack of cells, would it just work? And I guess the only way to find out is by doing it, but I'm not sure if I want to spend the money for six brand new cells, seeing as how I can buy a whole new battery pack for 35 bucks on Amazon. 
Now this board is kind of interesting because in addition to being a battery management system, it's also a battery charger. It has the black and white connectors coming in that are basically going to plug into a power source and it will charge the cells from that and presumably it will manage that charge appropriately and balance the cells. You can see it has sense leads and they're pretty hefty sense leads to you know each spot in the series pack so it could definitely be doing some type of balance charging. It certainly can do sensing of each individual cell's voltage um, and it turns on and off the motor through this connection. It has a little you know the switch so the brown and the blue connection goes to this switch. It's kind of interesting because when you push this it releases the switch. Um, so I'm not sure if that's a normally closed switch and it's held open by this spring or if they're just um, seeing that switch and kind of doing the opposite of what I would expect with it to turn things on and off. But essentially um, you know it looks like it's automatically turning off power when you're battery voltage is getting too low as well. So you could use this in your own project to power any 20 volt power thing through there. You'd have an on off button all ready to go and a charger built in. So you know that could be a useful board to be um, used with your own cells for some other project outside of the Dyson.